Hey, Jim. Stacy. Stacy, wake up. Stacy, come on, wake up. Oh, thank God. You really scared me for a second, girl. Are you okay? I think so. What happened? I... I remembered something else. <laughs> it just hit me. What was it? Kim finding me. I guess it was right after I tried to trade places with Gigi. Yeah? She called me Stacy, so I guess it's true. I... I really am Stacy. Hey, I don't think that's so bad. Well, you're the only one. No, I, when I heard Rex and Shane talking, they were... they were saying how great Gigi was. That makes sense. They loved her. Yeah, I could tell. I guess I was just holding out hope that... that I was who they were talking about. That I was this amazing woman, but... I'm not. Nope, I'm just a lunatic who tried to... steal her life. Doesn't Aubrey want to spend Christmas with her family? Aubrey doesn't really have a family. That's kind of why I invited her. So she wouldn't have to spend Christmas by herself? Like you said, kind of pathetic, huh? What you thinking? Is that the only reason why you invited her? Oh, whoa, careful! Sorry. Oh, do you need help? Just let me impress the family, please. Oh, okay. You know, you could have it delivered. It's okay. We've got it. And here I thought it couldn't get any colder. It's okay. It's all right. Jessica has a good reason to hate me, as do most people in this town. Well, not me. All my money, which I'll have as soon as I track down Familia Andrews. Oh, please, would you be careful? You know she's mad at you right now. She's going to want payback. Well, that's a chance I'm going to have to take. Kimberly, are you giving me an ultimatum? Please. I know that only works in the movies. You never decided to give it a try? I'm a big girl, Clint. I know you can have feelings for two people at once. Do you not? Look, I get that you care about both me and Vicky, but you can't have us both. So, who do you want more? Your uh, food will be up in a minute, OK? Yeah, thank you. But look, I hope I didn't offend you before. You did. You did. So then what I was saying about your running away. All right. OK, it's possible. But you know, Charlie, even if you're right, even if I'm trying to avoid being hurt, it does not change the fact that Clint has feelings for Kim. Well, maybe he did it one time. What, do you think that's over? Well, it doesn't matter. Kim gave him the brush off. So why are you letting her stand in the way of your own happiness? Like, she is so obviously out of Clint's life. I don't think I can answer that. Then you need to think real hard. Because I already know who I want. Cowboy. I'm gonna get ready for bed now. Well, it's not even nine o'clock. I know, but I want to get over to the Bonjour as soon as it opens, see if Noelle needs any help. I think she can handle it. Probably, but I want to make sure we win this for Mom. You're a good kid. Promise me you'll never say that in front of anyone I know. You got it. And about Aubrey? Yeah. Does she make you happy? I guess so. Good. Because that's all I want for you. For you to be happy. Thanks, bud. I appreciate that. You know Kim is going to want revenge. Well, what am I supposed to do? Cower in the corner? Yes. No, she should be the one cowering in the corner. Do you not remember last time's throwdown? <laughs> Hold that thought. Who is it? I don't know. Hold on a second. 
Hello? Hey, Aubrey, it's Rex. Hey. I was just checking in, see how you were doing. I'm fine. How's Texas? Good. We'll be back soon. Okay. Something I should know? Well, I was gonna try to keep it a surprise, but what the hell. I hope you are in the Christmas spirit because your house is certainly gonna be. Should I be worried? Not unless you don't like poinsettias, mistletoe, and as soon as it's delivered, the most badass Christmas tree you've ever seen. I can't wait. Well, anyway, good luck. Thanks. Have a good night. You too. Hey, what do you say we hole up here for the night? I thought we had to get out of Dodge. Eh, nah, we can hit the road later. Good idea. I want you to know you are a good person. You sound like you're sure. I am. Listen, I've met a lot of creeps in my life. And no matter what your name is, I know it's in your heart. And it's pretty amazing. Thanks. Wait. Don't go. I'm not leaving. No, I meant... Could you just hold me? Perfect tree. Yeah, but I still want to drive home while I can still feel my feet. All right, you go warm up. I'm going to go to the other side of the lot. Hey. You know you don't have to try this on. All right, well, no matter what she says, your mother still wants us to tie the knot. And I just want to make her happy that we're together. Even if that's never going to happen. That's what you think. Vivian Wright, I'm gonna marry you yet. Who is that? What? On the phone. Oh, it's Rex. But don't worry. <laughs> Bitch! What? Don't do this. It is not a good idea, especially with all these witnesses around. Hold this video. That whore may try to steal it. Here you go. Cheeseburger fries, extra greasy. Just like old times. Charlie, you're supposed to be watching your cholesterol. Well, how do you know I haven't been? This is a treat tonight. Really? Yeah. What's the occasion? Oh, you hadn't heard? I ran into my ex today. Must be why you took so long to order. Yeah. Oh, hey, you're in no position to judge. Well, that's true. I can never choose egg salad, tuna salad. No. I meant about making a decision. Oh. So what's it going to be? Are you going to keep running away from happiness? Or towards it with Clint? <laughs> That's not how you do it. Oh, so you're the expert. Uh, yeah, I am. I can't <laughs> hey, can we get a hug? Can we have a hug? Hey, Dad. Hi, sweetheart. So, what do you think? I think it's a very impressive tree. Ford picked it up. Did he use the Buke method? No, he has his own method. Probably works just as well. <laughs> well, it was definitely faster. I remember when I was a kid, we would be at that lot for hours. If you want to find the perfect tree... You have to take your time. Come on, Dad, be honest. You can never make up your mind. <laughs> 